when manuscripts are destroyed in war, is it as a collateral damage kind of thing, or are they, uh, I imagine that they vary, but is, you know, are they more frequently now being specifically targeted for what they are, for their intrinsic content? So if the conflict is religiously motivated, there's a higher danger that things could be targeted. So much of the Iraq-Syria thing with ISIS. And what happened in Timbuktu. There were initial reports back in 2013 that the great libraries of Timbuktu had been destroyed because of this kind of complicated jihadist takeover of the town, which was religious. It was also an ethnic conflict. And there were some photographs of burned manuscripts. And then it turned out most of them had been evacuated ahead of time. So somebody knew that this was coming. The reason the manuscripts that they found were burned is because they weren't just Qurans. Therefore, this marvelous expanse of Islamic learning, of legal commentary, of poetry, of devotional works, of texts about medicine and healing and prayers. All of this was a threat to that worldview. Now, before we get too smug, there are also people in the Christian world who might have a similarly fanatical view of what's appropriate literature. And so the common enemy for all of us who work in this field, whatever our national identity or whatever our religious affiliation, if we even have one, the common enemy is that kind of intolerance that can't bear the idea that there are significant texts, significant voices that are different from their own. 